Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I know your bellies are full and some of you guys are laying back in your recliners like mine. <laughs> and you are just kicking back, letting that good old food settle so you can make room for some more, huh? Mm-hmm. And you know, it's funny, you can eat all day long and get so full, your lungs barely have room to breathe. But you know, by the next day, that food is gone, isn't it? That's what's so bizarre about that. You can eat to your heart's content. You can drink to your heart's content and have so much food, it'll last you two or three weeks worth of sandwiches, turkey salad, chicken salad, whatever you've made. And it just seems like it goes on and on and on. And there's a never ending supply. But we know that's not true because either the food will decay, it'll spoil, or you'll have to just throw it away or everybody will have eaten it up and it's gone anyway. And then there comes another day and another hour when that big old full belly says, hmm, that was then, this is now, feed me. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? That's the way our souls are. That's the way our hearts and spirits are. And when we are full, we feel like nothing can go wrong in our lives, don't we? We feel like everything is copacetic. Yeah, but it ain't copacetic because life changes on us. Life, it, 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 there are pendulum shifts. I mean, the pendulum, you never know which way it's going to swing and when. So what you need is something medicine cannot do. What you need is something a relationship cannot do. You need a never ending supply of inner satisfaction. You need a never ending supply of peace. And above all, you need a never ending supply of God's living water. And you will find that the joy comes easier. The, you get ideas as to what to do with your life. Your life is worth living. You love yourself and others more. And that is the reason we all need Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can come to the Father but by Him. So, whether you're sure about Him or even if you're not sure He exists, go to Him anyway. Go to God through Jesus Christ. And you can tell him, I'm not sure if Jesus is real, but I'm going through that door. And then ask God to show you results, real results, to touch you on the inner man, and let you know what it feels like to be joyful, what it feels like to be totally satisfied, to be totally at ease and at peace, to be void of emotional pain, to know what it feels like to be healed on the inner man. I'm telling you, it's worth the journey. During the journey, there are bumps in the road, but God is with us. You hear me? God will help you through. You will never be alone. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Whatever you do, whatever choices you make in this life, and whatever you think may be a lost cause, remember God is the God of second and third chances. His mercy is everlasting. His love endures forever and ever. And he will never leave you alone, even when you're wrong. He'll be warning you. He'll be trying to guide you and help you avoid some bumps and knots upside your head and some heartaches but he will never leave you so whatever you do when you hook up with him never leave him 